go, title updated. Okay, that looks like it's fine. It just sounds like it's loud at the second to my ears, but volume-wise it looks okay, so we'll roll with it. This is Sigma Star Saga. Now the volume's still the same, it just... It's one of those tones, I think, that just hits harder in the ears. Got his own squadron, and they all died. Well, that's a shame. The Krill found Earth 60 years ago. They fucked up everything. Okay, so it's the classic aliens found Earth, aliens fucked up Earth. Humanity's trying to make do now. For our boy Ian, though, things aren't going great. And they really are going to continue to not go great. Okay, that seems a bit sharper. Even though it's not showing super loud, I'm going to lower it a little bit. Just because it's hitting me a little bit too much. There we go. as a schmuck, but there's more to it than that, and that's why it's on today's list. And it thankfully is a schmuck with a health bar, so I can make this work. We do have a, a secondary weapon in the form of bombs, probably not going to really be using them. Loud. I keep pulling that back a little bit more. Or until it seems reasonable. That seems good enough. Yes, yes, send forth all of your ships. I'll just sit here and mash the button until your ships are all dead. Bang, bang, bang. Goodbye. destroy those things fast enough to keep them from hitting them, but maybe there's a way to, like, get them to dodge, because I got- I don't know how I got them to move, but I got one of them to move, I think. Unless that just coincidentally moved. I, well, I, don't see so good, so I, missed. I mean, I didn't miss much that I intended to hit with, anyway. And one of them valiantly sacrifices themselves in the cannon over there to blow up the battle worm. All in all, a real good day for us, but not a good day for anybody else. I do appreciate how you can actually see both the thrusters on the ship going when you tilt the ship. 
They could have shortcutted that by just rendering it so that it's just one big thing, but there's two separate ones there. Now for us to do the important thing, though, of destroying whatever this thing is. Nope, I knew it's just too early that time. I wish this ship was faster! Like, the speed of this ship is a constant thorn in my side. Because I expect it to move faster than and it does for how this thing moves, how this looks, and it just doesn't. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot these while it only has one cannon left. Because if I destroy all the cannons, it starts shooting homing missiles, and the homing missiles really aren't very dangerous, but they're kind of annoying. There we go, ship's destroyed. In testing, I failed that the first time. Because I got to that part with no health left and just got bodied immediately. But now for the other half of what this game is. Because it's also more or less part RPG, <laughs> which is kind of neat. Okay, now it's gotten a fair bit quieter. I'm going to go ahead and move the volume back up. Just I think that intro segment just had super loud music to it. So that should work out just fine. Yeah, you know, a hero. I got my entire squadron killed. What a hero. All of these people have dialogue. I'm not going to worry about talking to every single one of them right now for sake of moving things along. I did talk to all of them in testing, and most of it boils down to treating this guy as more of a hero than he feels he is because of how things played out. But he did save the day, so they're not wrong to call him a hero, just, uh, you know, survivor's guilt, mostly. I think this is the command room? Uh, nope, this is the med bay. Unfortunately, we can't run or anything. This is our top speed. Just clanking along. This is why we spend all of our time in a ship. We're not exactly a uh, peak physical fitness man here. Is this the command room? I know it's one of the top rooms up here. This seems like it's needlessly complicated to get to and starts with a C. There we go. Hi, boss. I still don't think it's a job well done, particularly. Massive casualties doesn't seem like success. But this is where this gets interesting. Pay attention to what he's telling us to do. Super dangerous mission. Lost lots of people trying to get information. Captured or executed. But they're alive. And they actually are working for the Krill now. So that's a bit of an issue. And that's where we come in, though. He wants us to basically be a double agent. He wants us to go in there and then give away information. So, we're sending you, the sucker, in to go play double agent for a while. Somehow I have this feeling that extracting him immediately isn't gonna happen. But of course, 
course, you know, to you're totally the only one we can send to do this job. Totally the only one. Nobody else could possibly do this. But, you know, a good, a good drink to victory here. Oh, the plan's already begun. Neat. Oh, but you poisoned me. Well, that's not nice. Well, hello, Floor, my old friend. Yeah. You might think, well, why'd they kill him? That doesn't seem to help the plan out at all. It'll make sense in a minute. Chapter 1. In the Employ of the Krill. I'm not sure that the people that made this game know what volume balance is. Well, there's a lot of things happening that we can't see. Oh, I think they're poking our corpse. Could you stop poking my corpse? I'm still breathing. I'm not really a corpse. Could you stop attacking my body? So why are they trying? It, it's kind of weird that they're like, you know, we'll just kick it out into space rather than killing it. It's kind of weird. Now they're, they're not really coming to a consistent thought here. But bear in mind what they're saying about their commander being interested in Earth people. So that is, that is a funny split there. He found the body, but his buddy here found the gun. <laughs> I can't help but feel there's a disadvantage in this exchange. <laughs> Rip. Short game, huh? We're dead already. Except... They've actually decided to undertake fixing him. And apparently the grunts did some heavy work to the body too, so that's... that's a thing. <laughs> One of the medics doesn't want anything to do with this, because he wants the body. It gets kind of hard to track who is talking, because they use the same portraits for all three of them. You just gotta really keep an eye on Medic 1, 2, 3 in order to tell who is talking at all. The so Medic 2 is always on the right, so you can always tell who Medic 2 is, you just can't tell 1 and 3 apart easily. You really think they should have like given them a slightly different hat or something if they're going to use the same face. And we're gone. <laughs> Drifting out again. Bye, everybody. These Krill guys are tall. Goddamn. Hey, we're not dead. What do you know? Kind of hard to know where I am when I've been unconscious. And why would I recognize you? I don't think we were coherent when we came in, so why would we have even seen you? But I get that you're trying to test his consciousness. Yep, you figured that much out. Yeah, it seems like we should be dead, but we're not. Considering even the guy who poisoned us said it should have been a lethal dose. But I guess it's one of those, like, put the body in, like, near-death stasis for a while type deals. Now, pay attention to what he says here, though, because there's an interesting twist that they're using as a cover story. Is it was a security ship. Take note of the fact that we were in a maximum security cell. They, they basically were playing it off as we were getting kicked out into space because Earth wanted nothing to do with us anymore. 
Like we're some kind of super wanted awful criminal of some kind. And we've been out for a month. Which is kind of wild to think he's still alive after being unconscious for a month. But I suppose their medical equipment kept him alive. Yeah, and that's why their commander wants humans for things. In this case, for arena fighting. So that's gonna be great. Yeah, so they just want unique things to fight in the arena for them. You know what, that checks out. Well, that sounds concerning. Why would you skin me if you're gonna send me into the arena? That doesn't make sense. Well, there's reasons for that, but we'll get into why that's a thing. <laughs> Yeah, it really does sound bad. That doesn't sound better. When you say you're gonna fit me for a parasite instead of skinning me, that only sounds slightly improved. Yeah, exactly. Everything about that sounds awful. Well, yeah, I, I don't anticipate being able to get off this starbase particularly well. Especially when we've been nearly dead for the past month. Our muscles have probably atrophied in ways we can't even begin to describe. Okay, just go into the room. That's this room right here. There's the parasite. Kind of concerning looking, isn't it? And yeah. Eh, that doesn't sound good either. So yeah, behold our new body. The parasites merged with us and we now are enhanced. We are much like them now. I've noticed ours is different than most of them. For one, for some reason ours is purple. Not really sure what that's supposed to denote, probably just a case of like, hey, this way we can tell the Earthman easily from any direction. But I have a fancy winged hat like the commander does, so that's neat. Okay, Commander Fat Man. Yeah, we have our gun too. Well, yeah, we know that we were fitted with a parasite. It does kind of function like armor, huh? It's also a rude little bastard. We're being attacked! Yeah, kind of. Mm hmm That's the neat part, is the parasite has made us faster, stronger, and more durable than ever kind of wild that they're giving something with this much power to a prisoner they just found out in the middle of space, including giving him his gun back. Well, I can't do anything yet, ABC. I have to wait till he's done talking. We're also surrounded by his guards. Attempting to attack him right now would just get us killed. Yeah, he just wants people to fight for him. Here comes the actual opponent. Meep, meep. Ow. Thankfully, we can run now, thanks to our new suit. Oh, we're definitely going to. Take note of the fact that this thing can't hurt us, either.
Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, he really made a mistake giving us this much power and thinking anything was gonna happen here. Yeah, funny story about that, but you don't need to know that one. Yeah, sure, I'll betray my people, why not? Yeah, that seems fair. He's gonna, even gonna let us keep our gun. That's a thing. Because it's, you know, kind of fused to our spine and can bite our head off at any time and all of that. It really complicates the whole duplicitous nature of everything we're trying to do here. Thankfully, I know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Is this place is kind of big. I believe it's right down here is where the comm room is that I need to go report in at. Yep, there it is. We made it. Yeah, you did kind of fuck us over with the poison thing, man. You kind of snuck that one on us. Yeah, kind of bad news to have this thing on my head that's listening to everything I say. How do you know that? It's easy for you to say safely in our star base all the way over there. I'm not sure I believe a thing you're saying considering you snuck like a whole poisoning thing on me. Uh-huh. Sure, yeah, why not? Now then again, if that if that wasn't the case, my head would have been bitten off by now, so he probably isn't entirely lying. Oh good, we found the, the low man on the totem pole. Great. But I suppose that is the easiest one to manipulate. Yeah, exactly. Give him career advancement and he'll be on our side. Oh, you also jammed an annoying earpiece on me too. Great. How was that not found and removed when the medics were keeping us alive? None of this makes sense. Yeah, you know, it, it does make sense that you gave me plenty of reasons to hate you and everything you stand for. You know, with the color scheme and everything, we almost look like one of the tentacles from Maniac Mansion. Huh. I don't know what to do with that information either. Now, at this point, I don't know what to do, because that's as far as I went when I tested this. So, presumably, I go back and talk to... Uh, ...the big boy. Ah, okay. Slap the parasite around, and it'll stop being a pain in the ass. Noted. Is he still up here? No, he went to his room, then. Which I think is this way, if I remember right. I mostly remember the layout. Yeah, this way is commander room. And they even tell us don't go in the comm room, and we immediately went in the comm room and tattled to our boss. <laughs> Hello, new boss, same as the old boss. Expendable Earth Man. This makes sense. <laughs> Roger. I'm gonna go blow things up now. I'm gonna go do what I do best. Yeah, huh? Parasites, how we interface with the ship. Oh, that's 
that's how that system works. Okay. How do I save my progress is a very good question. Oh yeah, another neat thing. You can actually assemble your own weapons in this game from things you find in the game. That's one of the things that got my attention for this. But we unfortunately don't have anything to assemble a weapon with right now. But you basically have your shot type, what it'll do, and then what it does on impact. It's a really neat system that I have not had a chance to do anything with yet. I'm just gonna kind of hope that the comm room was how we save and... Oh, maybe this is the thing. Yeah, there we go. This is how we save. If we lose power unexpectedly, you lose all progress. I, I appreciate that they actually kind of half explain that away. Rather than completely just being like, yep, it's a video game. Save your game, stupid. Uh-huh. Okay, that's how we send ourselves out. Do a new mission. I'm assuming new mission is what I wanted. Now we go find a ship. Yep, there we go. We're launching. We... Hopefully this is faster than our old ship. Nope, it sure isn't. Okay. I'm listening. Okay, I need to destroy that many targets. Here I go killing again. Okay, it is back to being really goddamn loud though, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at a happy medium between these two volumes for the rest of this game. Because it was too quiet when we were out of the ship, but it's too loud when we're in the ship. At least for me. There we go. Mission accomplished. I would have rather stay there and try to get more experience, but... The target is the target. Hey, that was an easy first mission. Offline. Can't leave again yet. Gotta go talk to Bloth, probably. I won't bother... Her saving yet. Yeah, Bloth, not Bloth. He looks like a Bloth. Hey, boss. I mean, it was pretty easy. I just pushed button until things were gone. I mean, I do enjoy blowing things up, yes. Issues from the sound of things. Oh, uh, <laughs> funny story about that battle worm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ironic that the one we blew up is the one we're gonna have to work for. <laughs> Oopsie. Maybe don't say that out loud. I think the skinning room is back run this away! way. Run we away! have nowhere to run away to. We're stuck on this star base right now. Nope, this is the wrong room. This is the arena. Okay, so I know where I am now. Means I want to go back past this guy, then up. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Or did I go too many rooms over? Or are these both... Yeah, these are both just bedrooms. Wait, that doesn't make sense. 
Also, can't I open a map? I thought they told me about a map. Well, I don't know how to use the map anymore, so we'll figure it out. I feel like the layout is not the same somehow. Nope, no stopping. Gotta find where I'm going. Now here's the comm room again, which we can't report in at the moment. There we go, I found the skinning room. Well, that seems excessive. I feel like this is gonna just lead to an awkward exchange. I mean, we kind of only experienced being skinned ourselves. We really haven't seen it happen to anybody else yet. Also, you seem to have gotten a lot less armor than the rest of us. You could say that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're already looking at everything else anyway. Shocking. Rude. Okay. I mean, at least you tell us how to pronounce the damn thing, unlike most people. Tagging along is probably not the right word for it, but yeah, more or less. Okay, I'll probably be there before you are. <laughs> Damn it, Wrecker. If you get attached, we're gonna get in trouble and you know it. the feeling though that before this is over he's going to try to live up to his name and that's going to get us in all kinds of problems and that's all i'm going to say on that one so it's me her and three grunts huh okay this is going to be a great eight mission nothing is going to possibly go wrong with this at all i'm not going to have to do all of the work or anything Ah, yes, that's gr brilliant. Send people down looking for something and don't even tell them what they're looking for. Typical high command. So is it some kind of material or is it like a ruin or something perhaps? If it's something that's supposed to show up... could land we were told that it was going to land it's almost like he has all this basic information in front of him already and he's been too busy staring at alien tits to remember basic concepts yeah i did i did press land already lady well fine i'm leaving goodbye or do i need yeah, because see, our only option is liftoff, so I did land it. Yep, you know what, I'm just gonna go do all the work now. Well, that sounded like it went well. Ow, oh, okay. Right. See, that's actually smart. Make sure you have patrols out. Good. Yeah, I noticed your ships are slow as dog shit. Okay, so they're, the ships themselves are out and about, but there's no pilots in them right now. 
okay, that's what you mean by they're not capable of evasive maneuvers, then. Their consciousness isn't smart enough to be able to maneuver that way on its own. Okay. That is actually an interesting way of going about it, though, is having an autonomous fleet in the hundreds that can just call up better intelligence at need, presuming there's any pilots in range. Yeah, no, there's a lot of things I don't know because I just got a parasite jammed in my head yesterday. hostile life on this planet. That presumably will send me back down there. Oh, hey, I found them immediately. I'm kind of surprised. Well, our land crew didn't last long, huh? Yeah, that's basically what she said, yeah. summoning the pilot for. Oh, hey, you did yours too? Okay. That's because you were. Well, you said my ship before, but I guess any ship is technically my ship if I'm in its skull already. Yeah, we were told about that already, yeah. a good point there. Oh, so all the experience you gain is up in the sky, then? Why can't we gain experience down here, though? I mean, I guess it's not... I guess since our gun's not part of our parasite, the parasite doesn't learn from it? Hmm. And there she goes again. Huh. Nope, oh, up we go again. We're really not getting anywhere, are we? We're not allowed to get anything done with our ship panicking constantly. Why do I have to get the ship with anxiety? I already have enough my, of my own. There we go. At least it lets me grab the last experience orb. seems rather silly and inefficient. What is this? We found new gun data. Oh! Now I can actually get a different gun. Gun that shoot up and down. Okay. Not sure I will actually use that that much, but, you know, at least it's a different weapon. Because now we're back up in the sky again. 
But yeah, now we can cycle between the, the customized weapon and our standard forward-facing weapon. I'm sure there's gonna be times where I do want the vertical shots. Like, if I moved forward there, it would have been useful. This was literally the exact same sequence of enemies that we just did a second ago. the only way we're going there. Oh! I think I'm starting to understand, actually. I think that these are the game's equivalent of random encounters. That's why we keep having so many of them happening, but they're not in set locations. That's actually kind of a neat idea. That, that puts an interesting spin on the, the usual idea of how an RPG works. Where instead of taking us to a turn-based battle screen, it now sends us up into space to fight whatever it is that's up there, and then we go back down to continue doing things. Okay. I can kind of dig that, except it seems like the encounter rate might be a little high. But since that is the way we gain experience, it's probably not a bad thing. Okay. Yeah, things are shaking. Okay. So, you and I are going down there, and these three are going to stand there and do the boring data work. That checks out, yeah. She's making sense here, with wanting to know exactly what it is we were sent here to find. But I can't help but feel that this might also get us in hot water with command that we're going and poking our nose into things. Is we were told to find it, but I, I don't know if we were told necessarily to, you know, find it, find it. Or if we were just supposed to locate the area it's in. Not that I'm opposed to the idea of going and actually finding the thing. I, for one, want to know what it is, but, hey, we leveled up, which apparently doesn't tell me anything about what leveling up does, so, well, I guess we'll figure that out later. Nah, I hit the button too fast. I wanted to switch to my vertical shots and then back quickly, but I swapped before we even fired the shot off. Somehow I fired the shot down, though, but not the one up. I guess it fires down first and then up, even though they seem simultaneous. Interesting. Oh, a save point. That's probably important. There we go. Put all our data up into space. Ooh. Okay. You know, I should have noticed at first that the experience bar wasn't changing when we were shooting enemies. This does mean, though, I may as well just do this. Just sprint past them all, because killing enemies down here doesn't do anything for us. Just kill them if they're in my way and then move on. Well, that sure is a method of attacking. Hey, more gun data. What's this one do? Free movement cannon. Oh! Okay, it's it's that kind of bit. It's it's the one that it works. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we're immediately gonna test it. <laughs> oh, we got a big ship. Yeah, it's opposite our movement. Okay, that's ground. That actually hurts me. Oh no, it's not opposite movement. It's towards our movement. Okay. But it's only while I'm moving, so it's actually rather awkward to use. Especially since they gave me the big motherfucker to use it with. For how big
thing this is, it really explodes rather easily, I gotta say. God, this is an awkward weapon to use. Because the moment you try to back off from what you're fighting, you just lose automatically because you can't attack it anymore. I don't like that gun. I would have actually rathered if it was opposite movement. Like, uh, what is that game? There's a very specific game I'm thinking of that has that kind of backwards gun, but I cannot remember its name. It's Bio something, I think. But it is just... What is this ship? What? Oh, this one has two guns. Okay. I'm just gonna stick with the, the straight forward weapon right now. Okay, that's gonna be an issue. Like, they obviously don't intend you to use your, your straightforward weapons. I also can't change weapons. Like, I can't use the gun data while we're in the ship. Otherwise, I'm gonna swap to the vertical shot so I could have that coverage without having to deal with the weird angles. Okay, which means we have to make that change while we're on the ground. Which is a little weird. You'd think you'd be able to change that at any time. But I guess it would be a little too good for the player to be able to change that on the fly. Because then you just change your bullet type to match your situation every time instead of needing to have something ready. Ooh, there we go. We got a different bullet now. Steering bullets? Influenced by ship movement. Oh, God. How is that gonna work? I've been drinking during loads. Oh, it's there, ABC. Don't worry. Like, right now. Oh god, it's primary weapons only bombs. Why is it's primary weapon only bombs? Oh, this is weird to have those ship movement shots with. Because it's making them go back up again. <laughs> oh god, this is a weird thing to use. And I don't have an actual forward-facing cannon now. Why did this, why is this thing only equipped with bombs? Who authorized that? Like, I think forward-facing cannon and steering shots might actually be really useful to us. Okay, it just keeps going if you miss your target. Okay. And there was no way we were getting that experience. It is neat how we blow up everything when we land. How we walked five feet? What's the primary weapon on this? Okay, good. It's back to regular gun. Because I didn't think to switch back. Okay, those things can tank a hit.
also starting to get a handle on how to fly better. I really do wish our ships moved a little bit better, though. They're really sluggish. I... What are they mining for here? I mean, technically we do. I don't know if he's figured out anything else yet. Oh, so you can just do that too, huh? Okay. summoned to the ship as well. But I can't, of course, go in there, so I guess up into space we go. Oh, we are going very fast. Yeah, no. Direct fire is not going to work out for this at all. Then again, we don't have a... Yeah, there we go. We don't have an enemy target number to reach. I think we're just meant to make it through here. Ah, that is solid. Okay. That's the one complaint I have with the flying in this, other than the speed, is it's hard to tell what is and isn't real as far as the background objects go. Like, presumably everything that's purple is safe, but some of the things that aren't purple have been safe and some of them haven't been. So it's hard to guarantee things in that score. even does for us necessarily I'm trying to make sure I pocket as much of it as I can oh boy so it's one of these bits huh well I'm just gonna tank the hit through that because I needed a wider shot than that to make that work out well or to have understood the assignment immediately which I didn't <laughs> god these guys are just durable enough that I just cannot chew through them really should just be avoiding but my precious experience points you know ignoring the fact that my precious health points are also <laughs> instead nearly gone that was an unnecessary kill but you know what it happened god damn it I wish I had better weapons <laughs> this situation my weapons aren't great for ow I thought I was gonna outspeed that I should have just held back like a, a twin laser or anything so I don't know what because I don't think we missed any gun data unless maybe steering shots firing forward will be enough to dig through that effectively well, only one way to find out I guess uh, no need to save we already are saved in that position let's try that again 
Yeah, these are much more effective like I thought they would be. But they don't seem to do any more damage, so that's gonna be problematic for actually killing. Yeah, because we're still gonna lose a lot of health just to the amount of enemies being hurled at us in that section. Be greedy, just fucking get it through with as much health as you can this time, stupid. He says as he greedily chases after an enemy again anyway. Okay, I'm hoping the fact that I can make the bullets kind of drift up and down at a longer range with the steering shots, I'll be able to dig through more efficiently. The win or lose, this is probably the last attempt we're doing before we switch games. Uh, the answer is this was not my finest of choices. Nope. I think I'm better off just sticking to the straight shots still. It was a good idea, but it's not working. Is they're making contact at angles I didn't anticipate, so it's still not quite working out. But maybe there is a weapon I missed or something, and that's why this seems like needlessly brutal to get through. Unless they really are expecting you to just tank the damage through those and just not take damage elsewhere. Which I suppose is also a possibility, though I don't think that would be the intended way. But it might be the expected result. <laughs> Ooh, that was a narrow passage. Give me the, nope, I couldn't get enough experience in time. I shouldn't, de shouldn't have deviated, shouldn't have deviated. As soon as I deviate, it starts going wrong. Nope. <laughs> God, hopefully this is the end. Okay, we leveled up, we're fine, we healed. That was the most important time to level up, I think. Oh, God. I don't like that that bullet is staying with me on this trip. It needs to leave. I'm going to smash into it at some point, and I'm going to be unhappy. Boss fight? Boss fight. my ship was faster. Yeah, I have nothing that fires backwards, so I'm going to be very limited in how I can hit this thing. damaged though because I don't think this thing was meant for combat I think this is literally just a drill that I'm fighting right now its movement pattern is kind of weird like sometimes it seems like it's trying to charge at me and other times it's trying to avoid me I can't get a good read on which one's which. Up oh, that time it, it got me. If you could just, you know, appear on a side I can hit you again, that'd be great. Got him. I 
figured he was down to like one hit left. Because he was being so annoying. He gave me all this delicious experience. That was actually a lot, too. Alright, we did it. Hi. You know, when you say it that way, it starts to sound bad. In some ways, yeah. Well, that's not a shock. If something is important somewhere, of course both sides are going to be looking for it. keep the tool. Okay. I'm sure that'll be important later. But later won't happen because as soon as this conversation's over, we'll be switching games. So this was fun. Volume balance, not exactly ideal, but other than that, the game's good. did that one, we already did that one. Do I want to do a weird one or do I want to do a safe one? Flip a coin. Heads it'll be the safe choice, tails it'll be the weird choice. Alright, safe choice it is.